Hey Aries, what is up? I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December 2021. And it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, but that is okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see. Aries, we got two here. We have action and we have metamorphosis. All right, okay, so huge shift. A huge shift is either in the process of happening or is coming up, all right, and that is involving action. So that could be you, that could be your person. It really depends. But let's get into this and see. It's like somebody is finally, you know, it's like the cocoon turning into that butterfly and taking that action, like flying. So let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of December. All right, for the situation, we have the Hierophant crossed by the Ten of Cups. Let's, let's continue on, we'll see. Recent past the Ace of Wands, Near future, the Four of Wands. For you, we have the Page of Cups. For them, the Hanging Man. More for you is the Page of Pentacles. For them, the Six of Wands. And the potential outcome here is the Eight of Cups. All right. What is happening here, Aries? First of all, we do have um, Taurus showing up. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, definitely does not have to be. Um, I'm also getting strong fire, so it could be that you're dealing with another fire sign for some of you. All right, so there's, there's a commitment here. There is some kind of, there's a, oh gosh, it feels like there's a very strong connection here or a very solid type of a commitment like, um, Maybe even like a marriage or this is um, a, a connection where marriage would like really be possible. I feel like it's that strong of the commitment. I mean, having or at least that strong of a connection, having the Hierophant, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups showing up here. It could be that for some of you, this could definitely be a third party, um, but there's definitely some kind of a commitment that is involved here, okay? But it could be you and your person. And I feel like having that happiness and that happily ever after is definitely being the challenge here. Almost like somebody is having a really hard time um, going after that Ten of Cups, going after what it is that they, that they love. And it's almost coming in as that Ten of Cups being like opposed to that Hierophant. So this Hierophant could even be like really deep-rooted beliefs or traditions, okay, for some of them or for some of you. Um, a lot of passion here in the past. I feel like maybe for some of you there was um, a reconnecting, like maybe there had been some kind of a separation and there was some kind of a reconnecting um, at some point. You have two pages in your in your energy here. So I feel like you're you have emotions, but you're also trying to think of the practical aspect of this. So I even though it's not showing up just yet, I do feel like for um, the most part, you might be holding back from giving too much energy to this. I feel like you're just giving a little bit. Like you might, you know, you're keeping your emotions a little bit open, like there's like a little window there of emotions. Um, giving a little bit of energy to this, but not much. For the other person, yeah, I feel like at the moment it feels like they're not doing much. It's almost a, it's almost coming in as this person um, putting on a show to their own self, maybe to others as well, but definitely to to their own self as well, trying to at least, because you can't lie to yourself for too long about these things. Um, yeah, again, it just feels like really, you know, having this battle between what I want and what I always thought was right or what I thought I wanted or something like that. 
All right, and again, for some of you, it could definitely be another a commitment that's involved, or again, it could be you that's in this commitment. So we'll see. Somebody's definitely walking away from something though, and I'm not seeing that as a bad thing because I do see action here, and I feel like this action is actually good. So it could be that you're walking away from this situation, and it could be that this person is walking away from whatever it is that is holding them back from that Ten of Cups. So we're gonna have to wait and clarify to see. So let's see that Hierophant with the Ten of Cups. All right, so we have the Moon, that's Pisces energy. We have the Three of Swords, um, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. All right, okay, so there is a lot of um, confusion here. There's a lot of possibly suppressed emotions or suppressed um, beliefs that are playing out here and whatever this situation is it's causing a lot of pain I actually feel like it's um, the other person in this particular case all right it could be that the roles are reversed but the way that I'm seeing this is that the other person is the one who is in this energy here in the middle all right what I was talking about and I do see that there's a lot of heartbreak there's a lot of pain that this person is is currently going through possibly because you're not giving much to this and they're aware of that like they can see that they can feel that there's this it's like they want to they want to move in a new direction but i feel like they really don't know how it's like they they want to leave behind some strong held beliefs that are keeping them from this happiness because they feel that high level of connection with you. Um, but there's a lot of confusion because of that. I feel like it's like opposing forces. All right, let's um, let's let's see your energy. Let's see that page of cups. Oh, the ten of cups. I'm telling you, this is a connection that has so much potential for happiness. And if you don't feel like that's you for the person that you're watching, this just might not be your reading, all right? Because it's like showing up all over the place. Um, the Hanged Man and the Nine of Swords. All right, so there's a little bit of mirroring going on here. I feel like you're both going through similar similar types of energies, but just differently. Um, because, yeah, like you're definitely feeling that potential, but you also are very much aware of the Hanged Man energy that this person is in. And because of that, I feel like you're kind of doing the same thing. You're kind of just, you know, holding back, not really doing much because apparently you feel like like the ball is in their court, but there is some, um, there's some stress for you as well here about this, about the fact that it hasn't moved forward because you know what that, what that potential is. Let's see the page of pentacles. Justice, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Cups. I also had Death flip over here. Aries, there's a lot of, I feel like there's just a lot going on in this connection at the moment. Um, you're really trying to maintain your own sense of balance and you're trying to do what is right for you. And I feel like that's why, you know, it's like you're open to this, like you're aware of your emotions, but you're also um, not wanting to give much to this because you, you know that things are not in balance. And I feel like you're feeling like, you know, you've waited, you've waited um, possibly a long time for justice to actually play out and for things to come into that balance and for there to possibly be some kind of a decision. Maybe you were also waiting on yourself to make a decision about this connection. And I feel like you're feeling like, you know what, like that there needs to be a change here. There needs to be a metamorphosis. So I feel like you're definitely in this energy of, of changing. 
of transforming. Yes, you know, you might still feel that pain or you might still feel that stress that has, you know, carried over from all of this. But for the most part, I feel like you are, you are doing what is um, best for you, what is in your own highest good. I feel like you don't want to wait for, for this to come around if it's not going to be in the right way. And I don't know if you're really sure <laughs> if, it's, if it's going to. So let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see this hanged man. Alright, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's passive energy here. I feel like, you know, you're you're showing up here, right, as this Queen of Wands. Like, you're very um, strongly in this person's mind. But there's something here with the Six of Pentacles that this person has not been able to fully give to you. And again, I feel like they're being held back by some by some beliefs here um, that are just very deeply rooted. And this, is, and this isn't making them happy. I mean, it, it's very clear that this person is not happy. That's their challenge here is to go after that Ten of Cups. Um, but it's almost like at the moment, I feel like they're, they're kind of ignoring this a bit. Uh, some of them might be giving, again, if this is a third party, for some of you, it's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you it is. Um, this person is giving energy to that other connection. Still, which is, which is, you know, the other thing that is holding them back here, but it's, they're not doing it in a way that's making them happy. Let's see the Six of Wands. If, if they're taking action here, are they also in this metamorphosis or what? All right, we have the Six of Cups. I'm telling you, we have like <laughs> all these love cards out. Um, Temperance and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, okay. So yeah, they are they are putting on a show um, to their own self here, right? Almost like trying to pretend like everything is okay when it's when it's not. But see, that's the thing is that they're not in denial of how they feel. They're putting on that show, but they know how they feel. All right, there's a lot of nostalgia here for the connection that that um, completes them. Right, that's deep soul connection that they have with you. It's like they are trying to maintain some sense of balance within themselves, like they're trying to moderate themselves, like trying to control how they feel. It's not really working out though. They're trying, but they're not getting the results. I really feel like this person is having a hard time not thinking about you because you're showing up here in their energy as the Queen of Wands. And then here for their second card, we're getting the Six of Cups, which can definitely be nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about a reconciliation. Um, I do see them Taking some steps, taking some steps here. Um, but I feel like for the moment, they're not, they're not huge. Let's see that four of wands in the, in the near future. Let's see what this is about. Because it does talk about stability, um, but I'm getting a bit of a different feel here. Let's see, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Swords. All right, I see. So yeah, this Four of Wands is actually representing this Hierophant. And what do I mean by that? It's like this Four of Wands in this particular case um, definitely some double messages though, okay? It's definitely also representative of your connection, all right? Four of Wands is like a very, very strong connection. Um, but the second message that I'm getting here now clarifying is that this person is actually focused on um, like defending themselves against what it is that has been so deeply rooted within them. And a lot of this 
a lot of these beliefs, traditions, or whatever, you know, it, it's, it roots from their, from their childhood. And I feel like they are approaching this with a very open mind, um, focusing on what it is that is blocking them. So number one, focusing on what it is that is blocking them from having that four of wands, right? Having that 10 of cups, having that stability, having this deep connection that could bring them that fulfillment. And then number two, focusing on how to fight against those beliefs that are not congruent with how it is that they feel. And so again, you know, with the page um, here, it's, it's taking some steps, all right? It's not like huge, but it's definitely being focused on that. And that's what that metamorphosis is. I actually feel like this is more important than the action because taking action when you haven't really faced what your block is, that action is not really going to lead anywhere. But I see this person actually focusing on the root of the problem and approaching it with an open mind. So yeah, um, that is pretty positive here for this person. Let's see that Eight of Cups then for the potential outcome. Right, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. We do have a lot of pages showing up here. So I feel like, you know, this is like a beginning, right? This is some action that is taken, but it's like new action. It's like the start of action because the major thing here is the metamorphosis, which is actually leading up to that action. So somebody is walking away here from a situation that has been burdening them, um, you know, just really releasing whatever it is that is not serving them. So yeah, I mean, it could be you, could be them. I'm seeing it more as it being them, um, releasing what has not been serving them, the beliefs that have not been serving them, contracts, right? Um, other people's beliefs, other people's views, right? Which was also coming through with that Six of Wands. And now we're seeing it here again with the Three of Pentacles. Definitely could even be third party. Um, I see this as somebody releasing that, that Three of Pentacles in the way where, you know, what other people are expecting of you or just contracts that they have with other people. And again, could be you, all right? Um, and the Page of Cups, like really being open, more open to, to love. And I, I'm actually seeing the pages in a positive aspect in this reading because it's telling me that somebody is, or the both of you, you're just open. You're open to learning. It's open openness and... Um, yeah, just being accepting of a new path and allowing that. So, yeah, I'm seeing it as a, as a release of, you know, tightly held beliefs, like just being open to wherever this wants to go and following emotions, basically. So, yeah, Aries, let's if this resonated let's see the final oracle message for you and we have choosing your path all is possible yeah see that's exactly what I was talking about or what I was trying to express with the pages like all is possible just being open to that which is allowing somebody to fully choose their path all right and it, this could definitely be for the both of you so yeah that's what I got for you Aries thank you so much for watching and much love